All right, well, we are here in the historic city of York, and uh, today we're doing a road trip through Yorkshire. Our Airbnb is behind us. It's a, it was built in the 1200s and is right on the river here. Uh, should be an adventure. We're going to go see some fountains and some, uh, Fountains Abbey and um, a little old town called Whitby where Dracula was uh, at least in part so expired. So, should be a fun day. We're going to take you along for the journey. I really like about these kinds of places is that you really can just wander off and explore pretty much anywhere. I feel like in the US you would have very cordoned off sections where you're allowed to walk, stay on the path, but here you can climb all over the place, you can go explore, you can really check things out and kind of create your own adventure. So it's, uh, it's a lot more fun. We are just finished up at, at Fountains Abbey. We got some coffee from the gift shop and we are about to hit the road again. We are heading towards our second destination, which is the seaside town of Whitby. Um, to get there, we are driving through Pickering, I believe it's called. We got a recommendation to drive through Pickering and up through the Yorkshire Moors. Um, it's supposed to be stunning typography and, and kind of, you know, just this beautiful, desolate landscape. Then we'll arrive at Whitby, which is uh, supposed to be just, just this adorable little seaside village um, where the author of Dracula actually spent quite a bit of time. And the abbey there and, and several of the, the kind of uh, landmarks were inspiration for the book so we're really excited for that we're going to check out the seaside and then uh, hopefully head down after that to Robin Hood Bay uh, if we're not uh, out of daylight by then. in the car after a nice little walk over to Whitby Abbey. It's a uh, part of the English heritage uh, kind of family of sites. So we were with these our membership to go walk around the grounds and uh, really a, a pretty pretty neat abbey. You can see how it inspired um, the, the author of Dracula. And now we are on our way down to Whitby. We're gonna walk around there and check out the town. From the view, it looks like a really charming fishing village. So we are on our way.
Mississippi, which is a super cute uh, seaside town with a lot of little charming businesses and really great sites. Um, it's sort of like, I don't even know, what you would compare it to maybe like a Mackinac City if you've ever been there. Less touristy version of Mackinac City. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but very cute, lots of candy shops, ice cream shops, um, which would have been great, except for it's uh, February 1st, so we did not get any ice cream, but hoping to come back and spend a weekend in Whitby in the summer and definitely take part in that side of the uh, town, so definitely recommend. Also, I have never seen so many dogs in a town in my life, so if you have a four-legged like, friend with you, definitely bring them along. Almost every business we walked by was dog friendly, so great place to bring them. All right, we are in our final stop here in Robin Hood Bay. We are uh, gonna go look at what seems to be a very small village. The uh, nice part about visiting these areas in February is that all the parking is free, free until March 1st. So the bonus of coming during the off season. All right, it's our second day here in York. Uh, weather is not uh, the best. We got a little mist happening right now, um, but today we are gonna stay right here in York for the, the first part of the day. Uh, we're gonna do a free city walking tour. So every day they do walking tours that leave uh, kind of by York Minster at 10, 15 or 10.30 and 1.30. And they're totally free. So we're gonna check that out. Uh, explore the city that way and then maybe grab some lunch and pack up the car and head back to London. Sparky and I just sort of left our tour a bit early because she got really cold from the rain uh, and we were looking for just a warm cozy spot to hop in for a few minutes to get warm and I spotted this really cute cafe with a dog friendly sign on the window. Um, it's right over there, it's called Nice to See You. Super cozy, really cute cafe with gluten free pancakes which uh, I definitely <laughs> uh, ordered and uh, really cozy, dog friendly like I said and really good drinks as well. So definitely recommend for breakfast, brunch, that kind of time of day. Seems like a great spot, a very, very attentive staff and nice warm interior. All right, so right behind me is our Airbnb. Uh, this is where we stayed. Um, we've been doing a little bit of research on the history of this place. And what we found was that it's called Davies Tower. Uh, and it was built originally kind of the, the foundation back as early as kind of the 1100s. Um, we were a little confused because we read and it was actually a defensive tower as a part of the overall wall around York. 
And as you can see behind me, that white stone is actually the original stone. And they built a kind of called a summer cottage on top of it. Uh, but it's pretty neat in that if you look over here, right above my finger, right there, you can actually see an old arrow slit where they would actually have fired arrows out of the, the wall. And uh, again, location cannot be better right on the river here. Easy access to just about everything. And uh, probably one of the most unique and quirky Airbnbs we've ever stayed at. The, the floors feel like they are probably original or at least pretty close to original. Um, so if you're in York, you're looking for a central cool place to stay, definitely recommend it. It's on Airbnb and booking.com and we'll have a link in our blog. Hi, welcome to Davies Tower. This is our sort of booking.com Airbnb find. Um, it's, it's actually the Stonewall website. Um, so when you walk into the front door, uh, you're greeted by this really cute, cozy kitchen, which we've actually made use of. We've made breakfast and dinner in here. Um, so it's been very functional. It's very cute and um, has everything you need. They even thought to give us some tea, some coffee, and some little um, oat cakes. So really nice. And um, then you walk in through here. There is a bit of a creepy basement, but we didn't go down there. <laughs> uh, and it brings you into the really large master bedroom, which has really cool views of the river, um, the river house. It has a really comfy bed and pretty much everything, again, that you would need. Um, the floors in this place are really cool. I think they're probably, if not original, probably from the 1700 uh, renovation that they did. So they're super old, a little bit creaky, but I think it adds to the charm of York. So we enjoyed that. Then you have a very modern bathroom with everything, again, um, I think it has a nice bathtub with a shower and it even has a washing machine under here so if you need to do laundry while you're on holiday um, for muddy clothes and things like that, they even thought of that. Um, yeah, towel, towel bar and uh, yeah, we have no issues with the bathroom whatsoever. Nice hot water. And then the last room is our, probably our favorite room where we spend most of our time. This is the living room which has I can see these giant panoramic views of the River House and downtown New York. So we're actually right in the heart of the city. We're right near Clifford's Tower and all of the things that you can come to see, York Walls. Um, Spark really enjoyed the views from the windows and this place is pet friendly, so that's really nice to know as well. We really enjoyed our stay and um, it actually has a sofa bed as well, so it was just the two of us and Spark traveling, but you could also have uh, one or two more people out here and there is a door so they would have so I think it's a great little accommodation. The location is really ideal. So um, even with a few little quirks that it has, because it was built so long ago, I think it's worth um, worth it for the location. And just to say that you stayed in a piece of history. So definitely, definitely worth um, checking out on Airbnb or Booking.com. All right, we are just finishing up our trip here to York, about ready to jump in the car on Sunday afternoon and head back to London. Uh, it's been a great 48 hours. Cannot recommend a visit to York enough. Uh, I think we've got some things that we wanna do next time when we come back. Uh, we wanna do the, probably the city boat cruise tour that looks neat. Um, lots of other kind of restaurants and, and some museums to go to, but we, uh, we had a good trip and hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did like this, please feel free to subscribe, um, like it on whatever social channel you found it. That really does help us. And uh, we'll keep taking you along on these adventures. Till next time.